Okay. All right. Apache Beam and the data analytics lifecycle. Very excited to explain how we see Beam fitting into the whole lifecycle of the data needs that folks have. So, you know, what's happening now? Obviously, folks are migrating to the cloud from on-premises infrastructure. They're taking advantage of managed services to have faster, more responsive um, applications, faster, more responsive data enabled applications. And again, massive amounts of that data is going to the cloud and needs to be processed both in batch and increasingly in real time. There's emergence of new regulations, GDPR in Europe, California Privacy Act. Oftentimes we need to do the data processing to eliminate personal information and making it easier for everyone to comply with what's necessary. And again, we talked about this, and you'll hear this as a theme throughout this week's Beam College, the need to reduce time to insights. Going from batch, going from overnight processing to real-time processing enabled by streaming analytics. What's emergent? Data reliability, looking at how we have data provenance, how we're looking at uh, data quality, making sure that the insights we get from the data are accurate based on the data that we have. The real-time analytics from reducing that time to insights. Again, how do we apply what we've learned immediately inside a transaction in real time making changes to our systems based on the feedback that's coming in. Govern data democratization. So everyone needs to have control of their own data increasingly as we go through this. How do we power our systems while still having that retained control? And again, AI, ML, how do we bring these insights from systems and from learning into our application so we deliver better experiences in real time? How do we do what's called ML inference, applying those machine learning lessons and those models to our real-time workflows? When we think about the discipline, you have collection, processing, storage, usage, and control. This is kind of a standard ETL pipeline. And you can go through, you know, and we've complicated a little bit here by talking about usage and control. So data analytics, when we think about it, it's an overarching practice that encompasses all of this, right? So we have all of the collection, all the processing, all the access control, all the quality in QA, QC checks. And data processing is a critical component, right? That's what transforms data into insight, enabling humans and systems to make the best possible decisions based on the correct information. So data processing is done in three phases. You ingest it from the sources, you process it, and then you activate it. You know, you can do activation by real-time interactive dashboards. You can activate it by applying machine learning models in real-time to your systems. You can do other things around that. And so data processing is really important from going from source to sync and transforming it along the way to get to insights and what we think of as action. So there are two types. There's batch. This is overnight or scheduled. It's processed in a time window, right? So payroll systems, insurance billing, um, social security checks here in the States, other things like that in government, those are bad processing jobs. And this is historically, classically what folks did. Um, oftentimes these would run overnight because of the data intensity needed to be able to do this. But really what we're seeing now is a lot more real time enabled by streaming. So continuously processing data. There's no beginning or end to the stream like there is with a batch. It's continuously happening. So the system has to automatically scale up and scale down based on what's happening. And you can see some of the examples of real world use cases, personalization, anomaly detection, alerting, things like that, taking large amounts of signals and really making it into insight and to action. So where does Beam fit in? Well, it's unified between batch and streaming. So when you have a unified programming model where there's one way to do both batch and streaming, it's incredibly powerful because you can change what you're doing on the fly without having to change your API calls. So that in just in processing writing, it's super easy to do all with Apache Beam. So it only requires three steps in Apache Beam pipeline generation. Choose your runner. Beam is portable. You can use Dataflow, which is a Google Cloud Platform provided managed service. You can use Spark, which is a very popular open source runner. You can use Flink, which is a very popular open source runner. There are other runners like Sam as well that you can choose to use, or you could build your own. But you can run Beam pipelines in any runner that's supported by the Beam model. 
you can use your own language. Java, Scala, Python, Go, SQL, and TypeScript and Experimental in your favorite languages, and you can mix and match. So you can use Python transforms in your Java pipelines. And then the step three, how do you get those sources and syncs? Well, use Beam's embedded included I.O. connectors and transformations. So you can see some of the import connectors and you can see some of the output connectors. It's the same stuff. Again, it's very important that the unified model in the I.O.s and the Beam model all support both sources and syncs. And then the transforms are built into the Apache Beam um, data processing model. So group by key, combining, flattening, partitioning, all that's built in to the Apache Beam model. So again, to recap, Beam is a unified model to build batch and streaming data pipelines. All you have to do is change a single line of code to port your Beam pipelines from any supported Beam runner to any other supported Beam runner. And you can code in your favorite language, Java, Scala, Python, Go, SQL, TypeScript. Mix and match those and create your own multi-language pipelines. There's a large collection of built-in input and output connectors and built-in transforms inside the Beam model, making it super easy to get started and get um, the insights from your data. And again, it's super easy to build your own connectors and transforms. Apache Beam is an Apache project, so it's open source. And the Apache Beam community welcomes your contributions, building your own connectors, enhancing your own transforms inside the model. Let's use a Beam community that's worldwide and make everything better for everyone else. And all of it's included inside the tool, inside the box, to make it as easy as possible for everyone to get started. There's no higher impact in the data processing world than adding to the Apache Beam uh, repo. So please join the community and build your own connectors and transforms, maybe the next SDK in the next language. So let me talk a little bit about what's in today's module for Beam College. We'll do a more deeper overview of Apache Beam. We'll talk a little bit about real-time semantic enrichment and online clustering of text content, giving a real example of how Apache Beam can transform and put actions behind data processing. And then we'll have a workshop, creating your first batch pipeline with Apache Beam. Again, Beam is unified batch and streaming. So the lessons that you learn from creating your first batch pipeline can be extended into streaming. I want to thank you so much for coming to Beam College. It's a wonderful event. Very excited to have you. And please take a look uh, at the GitHub. Um, look at the slides that we have. Look at the repos that we have. And really contribute, fork, remix, and join the community. Thank you so much for your time today.